begin to want to make some certain requests. My name is Charles Tosipo. I think uh, it's government because the land alone should have gotten the state government involved, the, the federal government and the contracting company have it off. Placing the power sector and the facilities can key in and the others. It's currently in this administration. We heard the, the senator, my senator of Delta North, Senatorial District, doing a good job, distinguished Senator Ned Moko. Wonderful job representing the Delta North at the National Assembly. Power supply in this country is an exclusive list of the federal government. So even if in um, Asaba here, the, the Guam family <clears throat> is already that they want to generate power. All the effort after generating power, it is taken from them to the national grid. It's from there they will distribute it. He moved the motion. He moved the motion on the floor of the red chambers. Chambers, you know, the red chambers of Kodazi Senate. On, precisely on March 7th this year, 2024. First, to investigate the cause of the delay in carrying out that agreement. The second leg was to ensure that that step down was done, all directed to the federal government. The motion didn't say that Delta State government should be investigated for the delay in distributing the 100 megawatts. It did not also say, as the motion did not also say, that the federal the data state government should be urged to complete the step down so that light uh, power can be supplied to the communities. State government was not involved in any way, even in the motion that he distinguished it on let him go moved at the National Assembly. He knew where to situate it, and it was probably situated that federal government should be asked why has the 100 megawatts as agreed not been distributed to the communities or by inclusive. And also ask the federal government why it had not completed the step down project, not in any way directed to the state government. So we found us a bit uncharitable for our distinguished senator to begin to try to untwist our governor, Eda Sharif Oborori, to pick the bill, to pick the bill of the Oboi project. It is not in any way within the purview of the state government. If the state government needed to do anything anywhere. It ought to be members of the House of Assembly of this state that should champion whatever with the governor. Our distinguished senator is in Abuja to bring whatever is available at the national level to his constituents the Delta Northerners here in Delta. And if he's that connected and savvy in his job, he can get more for Delta State as a whole. Of placing the power sector.